also have a seismology expert, Dr. Sushil Rohila, joining us. Dr. Rohila, thank you for speaking to us on India today. My first question to you would be, it is a strong tremor we felt this morning, but more importantly, it seems in the recent past, it's become an emerging trend. Is this a cause of concern as we speak of seismic activities and tectonic plates that Delhi rests upon? Yes. Actually, uh, we have to understand that uh, the Himalayan seismic influence, this is affecting the Haryana, Delhi, Punjab or this western Uttar Pradesh as well. And this is due to collision of Indian and Eurasian plate. The the pure uh, Mahatmik ne basically uh, the stress is accumulating. And Haryana or LCR uh, maybe uh, in these places also a uh, lot of many fault lines are there. Like uh, Delhi, Muradabad fault, Mahindragad, Dehradun fault, Morena fault in, Bundi, in, uh, in Bundil Khand. And this particular earthquake actually did happen from a very shallow depth at 10 kilometers. That's why the uh, shocks in Delhi, they, they observed more. So I would like to say that uh, this 4.4 magnitude earthquake is due to uh, the collision of the Indian and Eurasian plate. The whole stress is accumulating. This is cause of that. This, this place basically comes under seismic zone 4. And a highly, highly, highly dangerous uh, the, the, the zone. And this was shallow, that's why it, it affected the NCR, daily NCR as well as. Right, right, Doc, Dr. Rohila. So also help us understand, is there a bigger concern? That is the bigger question at this given point. Is there a bigger concern we may be looking at, especially for a highly congested uh, neighborhood that neighborhoods that we have in Delhi? Uh, is there precautions that should be taken for seismic activities which may be bigger than what we have experienced so far? Yes, uh, the, the, actually the other people uh, should take the concern like that. They should understand that this kind of process will be keep on triggering. Okay. The plate is uh, moving and it's still, it's, uh, it's not a static plate, it's a dynamic plate. And keep on moving uh, uh, a few uh, millimeters per year, every every year, for continuous movement. This is the so Indian the, the, tectonic plate you're speaking of, sir. Hello? Yes, Dr. Royla, you're speaking of the Indian tectonic plate, right? Yes. Yes. Please, please continue. Yes. So, uh, so these earthquakes actually keep on triggering such magnitude earthquakes between up to uh, less than five. And the shaking, people have to take care of uh, like where they are living. If living at 24, uh, suppose, stay uh, the the mala of the building, uh, so they have to, they have to think that if such earthquake will happen, what they have to do. So uh, such learnings and uh, is available the, on the Google also. Like uh, the, the the people who are those are living up to second floor, they can come out. Otherwise, uh, the rest of the people they have to find a place actually inside the their house itself at different uh, heights. So they cannot come out, and uh, they have to they have to take care. They have to learn like how to basically escape themselves in such a setting. Not be panic actually. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have to now to, to leave such type of earthquakes. In Delhi also, previously also many earthquakes triggered. So mm -hmm. uh, that time also, uh, there was also a uh, concern that no big earthquake will trigger, like uh, great magnitude earthquake will not trigger there. Okay. But uh, due to the, the collision of Indian relation, right, those Himalayan belt is seismically active and will be remains active like people triggering such type kind of earthquakes in southern parts like in Delhi, Delhi and Haryana side also. Right. Dr. Rohila, thank you so much for bringing us all those details and explaining what it means, what the seismic activities on the Indian tectonic plate that the national capital rests on means. With that, viewers, before we proceed with our discussions with more details on what exactly went down, let us take you through some safety measures, some precautions, some steps that you could be taking during an earthquake to safeguard yourself and your, me your family members, friends, whoever is around you. Now, if you're indoors, let let us tell you, drop to the ground immediately and take cover and stay away from glass objects, windows and uh, if you outside doors, hold pillows over your head. If you are in the bed, stay in bed.
till the shaking completely stops and go outside only and only after the tremors completely come to a full stop. Now, if you're outdoors, let me tell you this, move away from buildings, especially high rises, trees, street lights, anything that can possibly fall on you. Stay in one place, figure out a place where you can take cover until the shaking stops. Now, if you are in a moving car, in fact, a lot of people today, because the hour was such when the earthquake hit, they were talking about how they were in their cars and they could feel the car completely jolting with the tremors of the earthquake. Uh, stop quickly at that point and stay in the vehicle. Don't stop near or under buildings, trees, avoid roads and bridges at all costs or ramps that are damaged because those may in fact give away if the tremor is that intense, if the earthquake is that intense, which in fact the one that hit the national capital this morning was. And yes, initially the reports had come in that it was Rohtak, which was the epicenter. We've also heard that Jhajar was also, uh, which is quite close uh, by to that entire region. That is also the epi that was also the epicenter. That's what we are learning at this point with all the details that we have gathered. Also, let us tell you, if we speak of the National uh, Sismology, National Center for Sismology, they have also spoken about how the earthquake is was just at a depth of five kilometers so yes these are some of the details that we're bringing to you at this given point on the very earthquake and now we also have moshmi joining us uh, with more details moshmi uh take us through what you have picked up so far in the aftermath it has been a good 30 minutes that's passed since the earthquake hit the national capital tell, tell us details that you are pick up, picking up at this point so, you know, clearly it's not only uh, Delhi. Um, in fact, the entire NCR region was hit by this earthquake uh, that has has its epicenter at Jajjar. And, uh, you know, here in Gurugram, where we are right now, uh, we can see a lot of people working outside and I spoke to all of them and they said that they could really uh, feel the uh, tremor at that point of time, though it didn't last uh, very long. And of course, uh, you know, we heard the experts uh, talk about how, uh, you know, not to panic uh, during that situation because uh, it's uh, these tremors are not new to the to the NCR region uh, and, and Delhi belongs to that seismic zone where uh, we've seen this happen that earthquake with the intensity of uh, to the tune of 5.5 has hit the entire region. So uh, when uh, when that happens, it's not only, uh, you know, confined to uh, pockets of Delhi, but also the entire stretch and uh, i was also uh, in the in the house at that point of time and we could really uh, feel a, a lot of tremor uh, though it lasted about 5 to 6 seconds but it was uh, the intensity was uh, you know you could really feel it you couldn't miss it and we could see the light, the, the fans you know items like these actually uh, move so uh, uh, one one thing that everybody says is you one should not panic and uh, we were speaking to these people for some time. Uh, they halted the activity that they were doing. Many neighbors came out on the roads and waited uh, for it to pass. Um, and naturally, uh, the intensity, in fact, was not too much. So thankfully, there was uh, no damage this side of the stretch.